I'm happy to be here with Mika Lanui, and uh, we're going to be talking about how do we build a business without burning out. Um, before I introduce your, your bio, Mika, I just want to say hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you for asking me. Yes, yes. So let me just share with the audience your background a little bit, and then we'll, we'll talk about this important idea of working, well, uh, joyfully and, and uh, aligned with our rhythm. So, um, so you had an experience of severe burnout in 2014, and that really woke you up to, uh, you know, live a life that's aligned. You, you, you talk about how you like to combine how you like living with what you like doing, how you like living with what you like doing, right? And then when you entered entrepreneurship, you didn't want it to, to just be another rat race. You, you created a business model that aligned with your most important values, such as freedom, um, connection, and creativity. And we'll talk about those things. Freedom, because you want to go surfing when there are good waves. You love the beach, you love the ocean. Connection, uh, you are the founder of a network called Entrepreneurs with a Mission. And creativity, you've developed a model called RIA, which we will talk about. And you are an, a coach and author to, uh, that you want to inspire others to create a life and business in, in alignment with who they truly are. Uh, you believe when it's flowing on the inside, the outside will flow. So it's great to have you here. Um, so there's a lot we can talk about. I, I want to, since I mentioned the letters RIA, I, I want to bring that forward. And um, can you share with the audience what, what your RIA model of creativity is? Yes. The letters R, I, A are standing for rest, inspiration, and action, because I believe it's a cycle. You know, we, we cannot uh, be working all the time and have this inspiration flowing all the time. And, and yeah, we need, we need uh, relaxation to, to open our system, to receive the, um, the inspiration. But when we receive it, it's important also to act on it, because otherwise nothing is going to come out of it. So it, it's... If I feel inspired, I want to share it with the world. Like I use my social media channels to, to share it. And then often when it comes from a place of inspiration, people pick it up because yeah, your vibe attracts your tribe. And, and when it's the right vibe, when you're, when you're inspired, um, yeah, you have the better connection with, with yeah, the people who really need to hear your message. But I feel like when I'm not inspired and you have so many rules, uh, in the world of entrepreneurship that you have to post three times a day or you have to uh, send a newsletter every week but when you don't feel inspired and you're only trying to force the message like it's people sense it like they feel mm, no it, okay the words say say one thing but i don't feel the energy behind it so for me it's very important to to act when i feel it and don't act if i don't feel because it's like like the tides in the ocean it's up and it's slow and when it's and when it's F, I know it's okay. It's time to 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 take, uh, look after myself, um, have some uh, relaxation time, do some things I really like. And then before I know it, oh, I have this idea, and I'm, oh, yeah, I want to I want to do something with it. And then the inspiration is back. So it's really a cycle. So that's the the first part of the the letters R I A. But um, in Spanish, Ria also means like a tide river is connected to the ocean and for me the ocean is like the source when you say god or spirit or whatever your real word is for, or the universe uh, and we're always connected sometimes more sometimes less like the tides in the ocean but it's always there and um yeah it's important to to be aware of the connection we have with something bigger than ourselves and to stay tuned in, 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 like tap into that source and don't rely only on your own strength. So it's two sides of the, of the name. Oh, I like that a lot. Yes. So uh, let, let's talk about this because I think a lot of people watching this, um, you know, there's, they understand inspiration. I think we all understand inspiration. You know, we have this idea, you know, we excited about it, but I think many of us can pay more attention to, to the rest and to the action <laughs> yeah, side of things. True. So, so, so let's talk first about rest. Um, 
what has, how do you advise people rest well or rest adequately or what does that really mean? Uh, how, how, how do we rest? Because you've experienced burnout, so you know that the importance of rest, but how do we rest effectively maybe is one way of saying it. Yeah, I think, of course, you have, you have sleep, which is important, but I think rest or is different for everybody. For example, for me, going to serve is a, is a form Maybe it's more rest and play, the, the playful energy, um, the thing that charges your batteries. And for me, maybe it's surfing, for you it can be dancing, for someone else it can be really like taking a nap. But we all have a different, we are all, we are all different, so it's important to know what's, what's, what's charging you, what's uh, relaxing you, what's... Um, and so for, so, so for some people, resting is really taking a nap or uh, walking with a dog in nature. That can be also like uh, doing something you really love, like your passion or like uh, just being creative without a, a reason, like painting or, or, yeah, so I think it's important to know yourself, uh, you know, those activities that, makes, that, that make you feel you, like uh, to, yeah, have more pleasure and more fun and the play factor in your life. Mm, yes, that's that's wonderful. Yes, like I, I love this idea that it, it's it's different for everyone, you know. Yeah. And you have to sense into what renews your energy, right? Um, yeah. What helps you to renew a pers a, a fresh perspective about life. Um, so thank you for sharing that. And for you, it's the ocean, surfing, right? Yeah. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Um, and then the other side, action. So we hopefully are resting well, we're resting regularly, um, and the inspiration will naturally come when we rest well. And then action, um, talk about that. I mean, lots. we all know we need to take action, but maybe a lot of us are afraid to take action. You know, maybe it's perfectionism or something, but tell us how, how, how you take action. How do you advise others to take action well? But for me, it really only works when I when I feel the inspiration. But then it's important to not go through your head and to start thinking about it. But then, yeah, like really follow the flow because um, I think action has a lot to do with being grounded. Uh, we would have good connection with the earth as well because yeah, you're like a channel. You have your inspired ideas, but it's through your action that they're getting into form that they're getting more real it's not just an idea but it's now a workshop or something like uh, yeah you need to put you put your ideas into yeah take the right steps to to make them available for other people maybe i would say um and i think a lot of people for many reasons but the biggest one is fear and and under fear everybody i think all the reasons are fitting we want to do it perfectly or we want to do it uh yeah, we start to think what other people will think or and the moment you start to think yeah, you're really cutting off the flow of inspiration and and you're getting in the cycle of being stuck and often yeah i think you can uh, there's there's um the thing like when people don't take the action because they're scared or sometimes people um so for example you have this nice workshop you want to share with people and it's not really flowing or you don't get clients, you're going to push your marketing, you're going to push your sales, but sometimes the right action is the action inside yourself to look like, hey, what are my beliefs about this? Or what are my beliefs about making money? What are my beliefs about? And then put the action inside yourself, work inside yourself to, to yeah, where's this flow stuck? And then, yeah, sometimes we take action, but not the right action. We always focus outside while I think your business is a really good mirror for what's happening inside yourself, for your beliefs, your emotions. Your, so if you use the process of yeah, where you get stuck in the action, um, yeah, to use it as a mirror, like, okay, what, what is this showing me about patterns, about beliefs, about things I still need to yeah, bring to light, um, bring awareness to it and transform. So, I believe if you transform yourself, your business will transform with you. And so you will grow in a way that's also satisfying for your soul. So. 
Oh, I love that. Yes, the, that, that we take action not just outside, but that we take action inside to discover where are we stuck in the flow and then to how do we unstuck that flow. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's exactly. a wonderful reframe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I'm wondering, though, what, what if some, someone, let's say, you know, wants to live a life guided by flow, guided by inspiration, but, um, but there's some financial stress, <laughs> which right now, unfortunately, that is very common in the world right now, mm -hmm. financial stress with people, you know, of course, so much unemployment, uh, but that also leads to entrepreneurs also, you know, experiencing that kind of financial stress. Mm -hmm. What is your encouragement or, or guidance or yeah, advice for, for, for people who are feeling that pressure? Yeah. It's a good question because I experienced it myself. I've been single for a long time. Um, and as you as you're starting as an entrepreneur, you really take um, you jump into the deep waters, so that things like that. Um, and for me, I were in the beginning I worried a lot about money as well. Um, and then I also it's like being rich or uh, being a, a living abundant. We all have this idea about it, and then I started to ask myself. But what does it mean for me to live rich, to be abundant? Uh, because it's never about the money. It's always about how you feel, how you uh, can live your life. And then I started to uh, start there. Like, okay, uh, if, I'm, if I was rich, I would feel free. I would feel, um, I, I would make time to do the things I like. And then I just started to live in that energy. Okay, I can... I can feel grateful for the freedom I have already now because I'm not working for a, for a boss anymore. I'm, I can already make my own schedule. So I felt I really like I didn't think free freedom, but I really felt it inside my heart. Like I am already so free, so I'm already very rich. And I believe yeah, man, money is a form of energy that when you can um, that tap into that energy, you you're attaching to towards having money yeah i think the money follows i know it sounds a bit spiritual but it's the law of attraction also so if you uh, if you and they say money follows joy and if you all start with the joy i believe the money will find a way uh, yeah, to get to you but we're so conditioned to see it the other way around if i have enough money then i will do this and then i will feel that but actually it works the other way around it starts with the feeling and I know uh, it's it's a lot of effort when you're because when you see your account is a, a, almost minus zero and and you have kids and you have to feed them, it is very stressful. So and uh, yeah, and it's very hard to say, oh, I feel joy and freedom uh, while the reality is different. But you can try to do it in little things, you know, like uh, be a, have appreciation for what you have, accept what, where you are, and then start to feel grateful and then little by little uh, things will start to change i think you always have a, a choice where you put your attention to towards uh what you don't have or, or what you have and if you start to be grateful for what you have you can oh, yeah there will come more things to be grateful for so and then wow. yeah yeah another important thing is when i realized when i was worrying about money i was always in the future and then i brought myself back to here today now do i have enough money here now yes okay and then because we always worry about the future like nine out of ten times so bring yourself back to today and then you can say okay i still have food i still have okay today i'm fine and then yes bring yourself back to the here and now is what's for me also very important such good advice. I'm so grateful that you shared this because it's true. Um, no matter how rich or poor financially, um, there is there is still your consciousness and the ability to choose the thoughts, to choose your actions that bring you good thoughts and feelings, which yeah. then you know create more opportunity, more connection. And that's what I want to talk about next, actually, is connection, which is one of your top values. And you're a great connector. Uh, you've created a, a network called Entrepreneurs in, uh, on a Mission. Um, yeah, I think you're just a, uh, you're, you're very good at connecting people. 
Um, so tell us about this. How can we become better at connection? Or what is, yeah, what's your, what's your secret sauce, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, I think um, the most important thing is a connection with yourself because you cannot really, really connect to others if you don't have first this relationship and this self-love uh, with yourself because otherwise it will always be um, kind of you will need something from the other person. For example, if you want to connect with, uh, with your client, for example, but you're, you don't have this good connection with yourself, you will all, you will need improvement from them or you will need recognition or um, yeah, a like on Facebook uh, too. But if you, if you cannot uh, say to yourself, oh wow, this, is, this message is really from my heart, I want to share it, then you don't need it, uh, the, the improvement from someone else. So I think the real connection starts, and if it's with your clients, but also with your partner or your friends, it starts with a good connection with yourself and then you really have um, you also have more to give to the other person I think because they are more free as well because you don't need their their improvement or your you don't need them to tell you that you exist or that you're a good person because you you will know from yourself that you who you are and and yeah so I think that's the most important thing the first to have a good connection with yourself that's wonderful um Yes, absolutely. Authenticity, connection with ourselves. I, I always believe and, and share that too. Now, when it comes to connecting with other people, uh, you know, you, you have really, I think, mastered it with creating a network and, and being, uh, but being a leader among your um, community. Uh, any, any advice for aspiring leaders, people who want to be better connectors with other people? um yeah like um it started just with one one or two persons because i i found them like you're doing like me thank you so much like you see someone who, who inspires you and and i i send them an email like or a message like oh do you have time to go for a coffee or maybe um you can go for a drink and uh yeah they, they said yes and so that's how it started like with genuine interest to get to know the other person and you don't I never had a plan to build a network. It just kind of naturally happened because, yeah, it's about caring uh, about people, I think, and really wanting to get to know them and not because you have an, a hidden agenda, but really because, yeah, you, you care about people. I think uh, that's important too. Yeah. 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 It, I think what, uh, what really stands out to me is you've, you really embody this idea of, you know, a flow guided life. Um, and that's also what you teach. Uh, so thank you so much for being the message that you, that you share with others. Uh, I think it's really, it's really great. Well, um, our time is uh, coming to a close. So I want to just make sure other people know how to work with you, where to find you. Um, you work primarily in Dutch right now. Yes, uh, so most of your, yeah. most of your content is in, is in Dutch. Uh, yeah. so for those who, are able to read and speak Dutch, they will be happy to, to be able to read your content and, and listen to you. But, um, but obviously your English is, is perfect, <laughs> I think. Thank you. Uh, so you're, you're able to maybe in the future work with people in English as well? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I like actually working in English because it always gives me the feeling I'm, I'm traveling. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, tell us what, uh, what kind of services or products you, you have. Um, yeah, for now I only work uh, like in real life, uh, let's say. So I have a group uh, program for entrepreneurs, but I don't teach anything about marketing or sales, but I really like the insight uh, in alignment um, and insight flow and yeah, to really give all the things I told you, like if you if you are worried about money, okay, what can you learn? What can you learn from your business uh, that you can work on inside yourself? So that's the... The idea of the program and then I work one-on-one -on -one, um, with what upload sessions it's a kind of a massage dance in warm water and it brings people back to like yeah, being coming to earth like uh, being born and the connection with your mother the connection with yeah with life with feeling feeling safe or not like also with the feminine energy flow your inner flow your intuition your emotions um because yeah 
like I say, I really believe when it's flowing inside yourself, your life will be so much more effortless. And, and I really wish everybody could experience that because we're forcing so many things and it's so bad for our health as well. Well, I, um, I like the quote um, from uh, Stuart Wilde, I think, saying, uh, life was never meant to be a struggle, just a gentle progression from one point to another, much like walking through a valley on a sunny day. And I like that, like, we don't need to struggle. It can be in a different way. And, and that's what I'm yeah, trying to practice myself, because I'm, I think um, as conscious entrepreneurs, we need to live what we're preaching. Uh, like walk your talk, um, but also talk your walk because it's going also with ups and downs. So, um, so yeah. The, sorry, I was going on a sidetrack. But the, the 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 water, like the element water, for me is very important in many things that get up stagnated sometimes, like emotions, like um, yeah, the the losing our clarity uh, because we have some uh, hidden beliefs we don't see or something like that. To get more clarity inside yourself and then i'm going to start i'm actually doing a, a course now for uh, m braining i don't know if you've heard of it we have like three brains uh, we have our head we have our heart and we have our belly and the more they are aligned aligned with each other the more you yeah you will have a more um creative uh, life where you are very courageous and you have compassion and you yeah you can yeah, you can bring your, your highest potential, you can give your highest potential to the world if you're in, aligned inside your three brains, inside your body. So I'm going to start with, with that as well um, after some. Wow, that's amazing. That sounds great. Well, I will be putting uh, you know any links that you want to share um, in the notes of the video. So those of you watching this, you can look at the description of the video. Maybe it's below on YouTube and on Facebook, maybe it's above. So... Mika, thank you so much for, for this conversation. Um, thank you for it's, asking it's been, me. I was honored. Yeah, it's just been uh, a wonderful feeling to, to hear about your, your way of doing things and to see that you're embodying. So thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you so much.